Thanks ladies for this tough assignment. The FYI Toyota and I are here in Pottstown to begin our distillery tour. Our first stop, the Manitani Stillworks. I'm thirsty. So this is what you have hidden away here in Pottstown. You got a serious operation going on here. Manitani Stillworks, opened in April, is for now Montgomery County's only active distillery. We've got our vodka, unaged rum, a unaged whiskey, and we just released our first aged whiskey. So this is not really drinkable as it is right now? Uh, you could, but uh, coming off the still at about 150 proof right now. It might, wow. be a little, might be a little strong for you. The still removes what's called the heads and tails to get to the heart, which is what you drink. So you guys are kind of piggybacking off the whole craft beer craze. Exactly, it's almost the next evolution of that. You can even get schooled in the art of their spirits in their tasting room. We're a full service bar, Thursday nights, Friday nights, Saturday and Sunday, the place is packed. You go ahead and have this. I've got to go run and check out a couple more. The just opened New Liberty Distillery in Northern Liberties is a throwback to the pre-prohibition era. When Pennsylvania had over 1,200 licensed distilleries within the state. Founder Robert Castle is a pioneer in Pennsylvania's craft distilling movement. When I first actually started distilling here in Pennsylvania, it was the first licensed micro distillery. He lobbied Harrisburg to make it easier for other small distillers to operate. Since the laws were relaxed in 2012, the number of distillers has grown from seven to 22. The new Liberty Distillery serves as the showroom for the line of stills that I designed, as well as the manufacturing point for our Kinsey whiskey. His Kinsey is a nod to the iconic brand by the same name that was made in suburban Philadelphia through the 1950s. We have one sample from 1938 of a mini bottle that we use to mimic what this product was. Next, we hit Row House Spirits on Frankfurt Avenue, where owner and distiller Dean Brown is creating the craft spirit scene in Fishtown. In 2013, I got laid off from my corporate job, and uh, so I had to make a decision, you know, do I go back or do I do what I really want to do? And so I made the decision to open Row House Spirits. That was in August. Among Dean's handcrafted spirits, an herbal liquor he calls Bear Trap. So it gets flavored with uh, all 19 herbs before distillation. Then after distillation, I put in fresh herbs. It takes about two weeks to make one batch of 100 bottles of Bear Trap. Dean also distills a gin and his personal favorite, whiskey. Everything that you get from me has been touched by me. That's why you'll find his image on the bottle. <laughs> Next, we're off to Pipersville, PA, and Hewn Spirits. Hewn's sort of a shout out to my day job where I'm converting antique barns into one of a kind homes. Sean Tracy uses the wood from those antique barns to construct his rum barrels. When it connects both of my passions with converting barns and the old wood along with the distilling. So here it is, history in a bottle. He's also experimenting with aging his spirits with other historic woods. Being an old wood guy and also a Navy guy, I got some wood from the USS Constitution. And we're gonna be making a rum that actually every drop touches a piece of that wood. The woods give his liquors their distinct flavor. His favorite? I'm a big fan of our gold rum. We've got two versions right now. One is aged in ancient hickory and the other is aged in uh, American chestnut, which doesn't exist anymore. We are now crossing state lines to the Cooper River Distillery in Camden, New Jersey. This is the second legal distillery in the whole state of New Jersey since Prohibition. Realtor turned chief distiller James Yoakum brings a smoky flavor to his Petty Island rum. And we make that from scratch right here within these four walls. Barrels of bourbon and whiskey that will age for years are stacked in the back of the warehouse. That's scary, thinking I'm making it now and won't have a finished product for years. Cooper River relies on the local bar scene to sell its spirits. They say, try it with this locally made Petty's Island rum. There's an option for something local and something unique. 